You see them up, down, and all around industrial control cabinets. They're simple, but yet oh so helpful. Oh, you must be talking about me. Uh, hey Jeremy, um, simple, but helpful? Yeah. Uh, I guess I could have been talking about you. But actually, no, I was talking about wire duct and DIN rail. Welcome back, everybody, and welcome to the new socially distant control cabinet classroom. And especially welcome to our new guest host, Jeremy. Say hey, Jeremy. Hey. So unlike Zach, Jeremy is a man of few words. So this could be interesting. Yeah, that's me. I'm just a simple guy. So as you can tell, we've had to make some adjustments here, as all of us have, due to the coronavirus. Obviously, one of those things is that our regular host, Zach, isn't able to be here with us right now but I want to let you know that he's just fine and he will be back soon. What are you talking about, Karen? I'm here. Hi, everybody. Wow. Well, hey, Zach. Well, I didn't know you were joining us today. It's great to see you. Yeah, well, I really can't stay long. I just wanted to stop by and say, hey, I really wish I could be there with you guys instead of being home with the kids for the 12th straight week. But who's counting? We're still here creating tons of new episodes, so there's plenty to binge watch. Yeah, you know, maybe you can have the kids watch it at bedtime. Oh yeah, good idea. Uh, well, believe it or not, we do miss you here, Zach. But it's good to know you're safe and sound. And luckily, we've got Jeremy here to help out. Thanks, Karen. And thanks, Jeremy, for filling in for me. I have complete confidence in your ability to school our viewers. So let's get back on track. DIN rail and wire duct is all over modern industrial cabinets. But have you ever wondered why it's there? I mean, why not just bolt things to a back panel and wire them up, right? Yeah, well, you know, technically you could, but DIN rail and wire duct both make cabinet building and maintenance a heck of a lot easier. So let's start with DIN rail. DIN rail is a simple standardized mounting system used to secure industrial components like terminal blocks, power supplies, and relays, for example, to control panels or wherever you want to install those components. Once a piece of DIN rail is mounted to a panel, it looks something like this. Yeah, and Keep in mind, like most things in a control cabinet, there are many different types of DIN rail. Some are raised, some are lower, some are made of different metals, perforated, non-perforated, all that good stuff. However, the most commonly used DIN rail on the market today is the top hat style. The main feature with the top hat style is the standard distance across the top hat itself, that distance being 35 millimeters. Now keep in mind, this means any component manufactured with mounting feet set at that distance, 35 millimeters, can be mounted on a DIN rail, just like this. And there are tons and tons of components that fall into this category. In fact, just about everything you find in a control panel nowadays is DIN rail mountable. That easy installation Jeremy just showed you is one of the main benefits of using DIN rail. But it also makes removal just as easy. For that, you simply use a slotted screwdriver, lift up, which pulls back the mounting foot, and voila, the power supply comes off. So easy, even Jeremy can do it. Ah, ah, cute. Yeah, I see what you did there. Yeah. I try. <laughs> nice. Now, one component on a DIN rail is one thing. But as we all know, most control cabinets have a bunch of different components within them. And that's where the mounting and removal via DIN rail really, really starts to show its advantage. In just a few seconds here, I've mounted all these different components. Now, way back in the day, these components all would have been individually screwed or bolted to a panel. You may have heard the term panel mounted. Now, with that, you need to tap and drill bunch and bunches and bunches of holes, adhere them back to the cabinet, all of which takes lots of time, lots of maintenance, and frankly, lots of money associated with all that. Exactly. Plus, if you get the order of components wrong, like I probably would, <laughs> you can just pop them off and rearrange them as necessary, no need to redrill or retap anything. This easy installation, removal, and maintenance is what makes DIN rail so appealing, and why you see it in nearly every modern industrial cabinet. Speaking of making life easier, how about wire duct? It's not always about those components on the DIN rail. It's about the wires connected to those components. Wire duct makes wire management possible. Wires connected to components are routed in and along wire duct keeping them nice, neat, and organized. 
This is a huge advantage if you ever need to go in and rewire components. Again, it's all about ease. Absolutely, and without wire duct, wires would be strewn all about the cabinet, crisscrossing everywhere, making maintenance a nightmare. It's also what led to a term you may hear from time to time, spaghetti wiring. Mmm, I love spaghetti. Mm. Oh, where did that even come from? Uh, wow, but in any case, you won't love this kind of spaghetti. Mm. Karen, <laughs> I love all spaghetti. <laughs> Now, as you might imagine, there are a variety of different types and sizes of wire duct available to an installer. The size of the cabinet, the wire gauge being used, and the number of wires running through the duct all must be considered in order to get the most appropriate fit. Regardless, all wire duct provides neat and organized wire management for the panel and the cabinet. Yeah. Because uh, a neat cabinet, it's a happy cabinet. <laughs> wow. Uh, yeah, it is, Jeremy. Sure is. All right. Well, if all of you out there want to stay happy, be sure to hit that subscribe button, and you'll be notified when all our new videos are released. And give us a little love by hitting that thumbs up button. Yeah, thanks for watching, and see everybody next time. Hey, that wasn't bad for your first time. Dude, dude, you're still here? Wow. Well, of course. I had to watch. See you next time. <laughs>